Hi, so I wanted to show you how to render out um, a character using Arnold um, with uh, a, a physical sky. So in this case, we have a snowman that we've worked on, um, and we also have our stuffed animal that we have. So either one of these, I'm going to uh, export an image of them using Arnold to turn in, and I want it to look as high quality as possible. So first things first, I want to make a ground. So I can either make a circular ground or I can make a squared ground. But it needs something so you can see shadows and lighting from your characters when you go to take a picture. Um, second, let's go ahead and go to Arnold submenu right here. And then we're going to go to Create Physical Sky, so one with the sun. So you clicked on that. Looks dark. Don't know what's going on. That's okay. It's going to work here in a second. So you can go ahead and take a picture. And you'll see it's kind of dark, not the best quality that I want. So I'm going to go ahead and stop this. I'm going to click on the sun. And as long as you have your attribute editor open, which is the one with the three rectangles over here with lines through it, you guys can adjust your, uh, under your light shape, you can adjust your uh, intensity. And you can also adjust your exposure. So I'm going to go 1.7. And I'm just going to go to about 2 almost. I'm going to retake that picture. And now you can see a drastic change in the lighting. If you press this play button, now if you adjust things, it'll render it in real time. So if I make the exposure one, and let's say I go up the 10 speed, maybe the two, that's pretty good. Now, when I'm taking a picture after it's done rendering, you get to see I got a nice quality, I got everything I'm looking for. I don't like a lot of negative space. When I turn in my pictures, I like to feel like I'm part of the cartoon. So if you're taking a picture of your snowman, you probably want to get in there nice. If you're taking a picture of your stuff family, you want to probably get in there nice. So what I mean by that is I'm going to get nice and zoomed in, take the picture. Now, that's a little bit too close because you can't see his hat. So I'm going to back up a little bit, take a picture again. There, so his hat's in the frame. He's in it. Obviously, I don't really want the bear in frame too. So I need to move the bear because obviously in this project, you probably won't have both. But I can... Get in there and change the angle so I don't see that bear. And you just keep adjusting until you get the picture you want. I might just move the bear. There we go. So I can take a nice picture of my stuff animal, my uh, snowman. So once you get the image you want of your snowman or your stuff animal or whatever character you're taking a picture of, you're going to go to File, Save Image. Make sure you use whatever name and convention that your project is. So if it's a snowman, turn it into a snowman. If it's a stuffed animal, name the stuffed animal. Um, if it lets you choose the file format, choose JPEG or PNG. PNG will do a see-through background, so I usually suggest doing a JPEG at the moment. If it doesn't let you change it, that means it's automatically set up in your settings, and you're already going to be probably fine with a, a JPEG. So I'm going to go ahead and name this snowman. Now, anytime you're saving a project in Maya, you always want to use your Maya folder. So mine's under user storage. And then you go to find your folder, which mine's right here. And then you want to save your images under images. Source images is your textures. So if you're using image textures, that's what you want to use for your textures. But when you're actually saving your images you're taking pictures of, go ahead and click on images. There I got a couple pictures of some of my other projects I've been working on. I'm going to save it. And now it's saved. So I can do the same thing with my stuffed animal. Get in there. Now if you take a picture and you can't see anything, it probably just means that you need to readjust your Maya. Re-click on it. Boom, there it is. I uh, probably need to zoom out a little bit more. There it is. It looks great to me. File, save image, teddy bear. And then I'm also going to again use storage images. Oh. And now it's ready to turn in.